This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. It's time for poem number two! Alright. Twirl. Rats. Fickle. Rats. Um, heart. There we go. Uh, warm. Cheeks? Darn it! Um, melody. Dunk on it! Ocean. There we go. Um, party! Laugh! <laughs> Laugh! Determination. Wait, that's de wait, shoot, that's definitely Yuri. Um, be my valentine. No, not you, Natsuki! I wanted Sayori to be my valentine. Happiness! Um, uh, pleasure! Darn it, that's Yuri. Swimsuit! Duck on it! That was Natsuki? Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, do, 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 heartbeat. That was Natsuki, too? No! Peaceful. There we go. Um, um, rain cloud. I know that's her. Sunny! And, um, flea? That's Yuri, apparently. Hop! Duck on it! I hope that that was Sayori. I think I got more Sayori words than Natsuki words, but that was pretty close, actually. They both like the happy words. Yuri's the easiest one. Yuri likes the long words. <laughs> Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room at the usual scene greets me. Hi, Artie! Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. He <laughs> I'm just not used to be you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things of you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Ah! Th that's not like you at all! I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? I'm very interested in the design on the outside. Eh? Why that? All of a sudden. Oh, no reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah! Uh, uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. She then, uh, then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh, 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 uh. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair! How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and you wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. Ah! I give up! Don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Wow! That's, that's a rough one. <laughs> Yuri is hilariously laughing at all of this abuse that's happening. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? Or, no, that's that's the wrong person. That was me. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, you're reading a horror story. How is that funny? Oh, I, I just find it hilarious when the, when the jerk character gets killed off. Yuri! Tell Artie to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides... You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Yuri speaking good sense right now. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Well, that's... Oh. She didn't do anything that bad. She was just trying to mooch off of me. That's not that bad. Uh, did, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Ha ha ha! I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you can think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution! Retribution. That! Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. Very true. Free food is what gets people to come. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Pwap! 
Cha! Ow! What was... Huh? A cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. What, do they make cookies wrapped in plastic? Say where he glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> N Natsuki! That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it already. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite like a feral animal. I mean, I, di I didn't say that. So good. Mm. Sayori suddenly clasps her mouth over her hands over her mouth. I don't know how you'd clasp your mouth over your hands. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a, a lot oh, just to get one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Aw, that's cute. Ah, jeez! I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um! Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Sayori, that was uncalled for. You never steal other people's food. He hey Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> now full, Sayori trots away to safely. To safety. I can read. Yuri and I laugh as well. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Jeez, oh, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori... I love how she accused Sayori of being a kid and then basically told her mom. <laughs> eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Ah! You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Definitely, Yuri. No no shot. Monica's the most beautiful, athletic, smart, handsome, amazing person who's ever lived. Also, plus she knows karate. Also, that's just according to what the game says. <laughs> I actually don't rank Monica very highly, but no, that's just me. Hey, Proxima! Happy Halloween! Or I guess it's past Halloween for you over there. Welcome, welcome. We're playing a different game. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Way to just say or don't agree to that. You're best girl. Excuse me? And that's who he's the only one of self-respect. She's like, um, I excuse me, she's not more desirable than I am. But she is. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Sayori thought you died. Ah! Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all! You're so strong-willed! But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up, anyway? Ah! Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ha ha ha. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn to play piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's, uh... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'll also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Artie. Monica smiles sweetly and, and shoves all the other girls out of frame with her waist. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... Not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. 
I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Bruh! If it was like a Chips Ahoy, th you, that's bite-sized. Yuri's back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Artie! Artie! Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival's coming up? Me and Monica, we're gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Artie to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Yeah, let's let's get a, some one-on-one -on -one with Monica. This is definitely a good idea. Oh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find some poster paper too, okay? Okay! Ready, Artie? Yep, let's go. Voicing every character is going to take a toll on my throat. Sayori and I exit the classroom. I follow behind Sayori as she hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly. Feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Well, that's how you to go through life. Hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. We're going to have cake pops shaped like books. Hehehe. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to do a poetry performance. <laughs> I'm not doing that. How am I going to How am I going to read my poem that ends with massacre? That would be weird. A performance of what kind? Well, everyone's going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Oh good, I don't have to write my own poem. That's good. Ah. That sounds kind of dull. Already? You're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like, you say the lines of the poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its cleaning roots, caressing its final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland! Like that! Sayori, how do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Ah! You meanie! I'm working super hard on this, you know! Ah, I know, I know. Sayori deserves better than MC. I'm just meant that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. Ah, don't say that! It's embarrassing! But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Ah, yeah, I guess so. I'm so excited! The festival's gonna be so much fun! Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Artie, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission! This, the mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings about a sp special sort of feeling that I forgot I had in me. The two of us enter the classroom. Sayori heads straight off to the closet, and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayori pulls a box of crayons off of the shelf. This is definitely what's going to get people into the literature club. Not the free food, the crayons. They're the best brand, too! Oh, nondescript crayon brand here. That's the best one. They're kind of dirty, though. Oh, gross. Who uses crayons in high school? Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Also, who has crayons in the closet in a high school? All right, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. I wonder what Sayori's favorite color is. Probably yellow. Fine, fine. Can I at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper? Oh, I dropped one by accident. Sayori bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor, then the crowns spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow! Are you okay? My forehead! Sayori clutches her forehead. Gee, Sayori. It's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Oh, I forgot about this CG, too. 
This is one of the more lewd CGs of the game. <laughs> oh! Well, well, thanks, Jay. I appreciate it. I'm going to try my best to finish it tonight. And not only finish it, I want to do all the routes. I don't think it'll take too long. It's, there's like there's a couple of acts in the game. Act 1 is by far the longest, and especially if we're doing all the routes. But if we go back and do the Natsuki and Yuri routes, we can skip most of it. Because there's very little things that are unique. So yeah, I'm planning on finishing it tonight, even if I do have to stay up a little later than usual. Because I actually can have a flexible amount of time when I can go to work tomorrow. I could go as early as 6.30 or as late as 9. So that gives me some flexibility. Sayori slowly raises her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow! Sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Hardy. Where would I even find ice around this time? Uh, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wincing from the pain, Sayori makes a silly joke. <sighs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Also, Japanese school girl skirts are not this short. Why does every visual novel have them that short? I guess they're slightly longer than the Clonade ones, but barely. Uh, okay. You don't realize how short they are in the main poses because you don't see their legs, but yeah. I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run out in the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? Drumstick. It doesn't really matter since it'll be used as an ice pack rather than to drink, but I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. Good choice. In just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori, here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. I don't like how he's kind of rude to Sayori. She don't deserve that. <laughs> how hard did you hit your head? Sayori places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stains... Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crowns, so that's good. Hey, Artie? This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh? What do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. That's... that's... accurate. Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do the things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump, and I would start crying really hard. Ha ha ha! And you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know. Did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Artie, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Aw. D don't call me that! And I, I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. Yeah, he's kind of self-absorbed in his inner monologues. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Artie, I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Well, forever's an awful long time. Forever. If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll end up for college or after that. It's very true. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But... Well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Siri has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside, but when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? We don't want everyone to think that we're, like, making out in here. Good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Boom. We don't have to draw an extra sprite for that. Sayori hops to her feet. Ah! ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself! 
Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. How does Sayori get her eyes to do that? I follow Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori plays with her banes to try to hide the bump without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. Ah, you're back! Good timing, I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems. That Sayori, your forehead. She's fine, don't worry about... I was playing with the crowns and smacked my forehead into the shelf! <laughs> well, um, way, way to have such a big smile on your face with that. Well, anyway, were you able to find everything we needed? Uh-huh, I have it right... Eh? Sayori frantically glances around herself. We got one box of crayons, and that was it. I, I forgot all the stuff! Calm down, Sayori. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. Ha ha ha! Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Artie. Yeah, well, ah, Sayori. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure! An adventure is something we promise is gonna excite you. Yeah, that! <laughs> okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too! Okay, everyone, are you ready to share your poems? Guess I should grab mine. After making sure the crown box is closed tightly, I return to my seat.